Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank everybody, okay, for coming to this uh, lunch. Like, uh, I would call it more like a conversation. So I would like to make it like a conversation. And then uh, please, um, uh, you can ask me questions as I go along through the, uh, through the uh, presentation because uh, I want it to be very informal, okay? Don't wait until the end, okay? If you find something that uh, interests you or something that kind of nag you a little bit, you can just like uh, interrupt and then ask the questions. And then uh, the rest of the people can then uh, uh, come in into the conversation. So today what I'm talking about will be on uh, smart materials uh, for better health and environment. Uh, what do we mean by smart materials? Smart material are mat material that can respond to changes in the environment or situations, okay? So these are uh, emerging uh, uh, line of research in developing new materials that, uh, that can actually um, do more uh, active intervention, okay, depending on what is happening on its surrounding, okay? So I'll just give a uh, very brief, like I got my uh, PhD degree uh, in the U.S. at University of Notre Dame. Currently, I'm a joint, uh, I had a joint appointment with the uh, Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering and the Division of Environment. So uh, um, most of my research is both curiosity-driven and at, at the same time, there's quite a bit of uh, application, okay? So we had currently around 11 patents and eight of them are basically uh, being uh, commercialized, okay? So, uh, so there are about 7 billion reasons, okay, just uh, two weeks ago. There are now 7 billion reasons why we need to think about health and environment, okay? This is currently the population of the world, okay? As the population become more... Uh, uh, crowded as the earth become more crowded, this will become more and more important. Okay. So to the, uh, first, I would uh, I, I'm dividing the talk into two parts. First is the health, then the environment. Okay. So what I would like to do is just pick up um, uh, uh, one or two of my research in this area and then start the conversation. There are other research that I'm also working in. My focus is actually on materials, as I mentioned, smart material with different application, broad applications. So for the health side, I'm picking up two uh, of my projects. One is on the so-called smart antimicrobial. The other one on, on painless uh, microneedles. Because both of the projects had a little bit of back story about it, which I think uh, would be of quite interest to everybody. Now, um, Hong Kong is not a stranger okay, to outbreak. Since I returned uh, uh, to Hong Kong in 96, I'm experiencing every five years, there's a major outbreak, okay? And each time there's an outbreak, there is a significant